and this is a video in where you can where I will show how we can install the docker in the Kali Linux so I am going to go in my virtual machine right now uh, we power on our virtual machine it will take some time So I fast forward that to save the time. And I have re referred this through the Kali official Kali Linux documentation, which will I will send the link in the description here. Uh, going to the Kali Linux, we first go to our terminal. Uh, let me zoom a bit uh, when we type the here docker we can see that there is a say that there is no package for docker so they are providing they are referring to install the two packages here so we will install both package so first I will install the docker.io package uh, it will take some time and after we downloading the both the packages now after that we can start referring to the documentation page and we'll proceed This command I am running is advised in the official documentation page of Kali Linux docker site uh, But I forgot to uh, giving the sudo permission and when I When I hit the enter button It uh, update the repositories, but it didn't install the package here because of not enough privilege here So it doesn't, it is asking that uh, am I root? So we again type the commands with, with the proper pseudo privilege here. I'm typing in this new terminal so it is clear to see. What this command is doing is it first it update our repository and then install Kali Linux headless package because as the Kali in in the documentation Kali Linux they say that most of the packages are not by default so they advise them to first run that commands before installing the Docker image of Kali Linux so it is it was taking too long so I Fast forward it. Give it some time. Uh, so now clear the screen and now it's time to pull some docker image. So we are here on the official Kali documentation page under the section of using Kali Linux docker image. So they provide us the instruction to how to you can install and interact with the container. You can either copy or you can 
type the those command in the terminal so let's get going now if we we'll so the command i'm here is docker pull so we are pulling the docker image Okay, give it some time. Okay, so after pulling and getting the image of Docker, if you try to list if you try to list the doc docker so it will not show anything like another docker container list hyphen hyphen all so it will list all the container either in active or non-active state so first run the command docker run the reason the reason is because it is not listing any of the image container is because we have just pulled the image we haven't done anything so now the so now running the docker we have to provide the image or the id to derive the container from and we are inside the container you can type an ls or who am i then it say root and now exit out of the container by typing exit exit now you can list the containers and we will see our container among them so this is the first container i pull out so there will be only one container see that that is our container id and image they are providing us various information like port name status okay so there is a mess up so i i try to again do the same command so here you can see there is exited status is exited okay so it will provide the uh, the timing of 57 51 second ago and the created by whom it was created and command bash command now running running attach with the docker because it will attach the terminal standard input and the standard output error or any combination of those three to the container but it but it throws an error here that you can run only to the attach you can only attach to the running containers that is because we haven't started our terminal So now let's start the container with docker start and providing the container id So you can get the container uh, container id from container list all So copy the container id and now it's time to start the container so type the command docker start and providing the okay so okay okay so we have run the command and now start the command with docker start and providing the instance term container id So now the container is started now let's try to attach it 
with the docker attach and container id so now we are so now we are inside the container okay if you can do anything that you want in the container inside it is an isolated place here so now we are only left with the part of the removing the container id so let's exit out of the container and with rm remove command similar as in linux you can remove the container so copy the container id here and with docker rm and the container id we can remove the container here 